Hi guys, just a quick one is that um, from my point of view the, the Passover has to be postponed this year. Um, like in, uh, I, I mentioned in one of my other videos not too long ago actually about the second Passover. Um, in I believe it's Numbers 9 that people were defiled by the blood of a, a dead body and by the uh, blood of a dead body or if you're on a journey that the Passover should be postponed but it says that you do keep the Passover the second Passover it's called it's just like this Passover the full moon of obviously this is the first biblical month um, of the year of the biblical year and at the 14th day the full moon is when the Passover begins so if you can't celebrate the first Passover then you celebrate the second Passover and that is the 14th day, the full moon of the second month. Easy. So it's the full moon of next month, which will be May. So that's um, personally how I'm going to uh, doing things at the moment. Because, you know, I was thinking about it on Tuesday night. And I just, you know, asked God, to, like with everything that's going down with this coronavirus and lockdown, and I thought to myself, how can we celebrate the Passover like this? And God's like, well, what, what does the scriptures say about the Passover? And I was reading it and it um, talks about the lamb itself. When uh, in the old covenant, how they, they took the, the, the lamb, they sacrificed it on the preparation day, the evening of the preparation day, they killed it. Uh, obviously took the blood against the doorposts and everything else. But it says that if a lamb is too much for your house, you'll share it with another household. In other words, if you cook up this lamb and you, you're only going to eat a leg and a whatever, or that person's only going to eat a leg and a thigh, then if you've got more left over, share it with your neighbor. But how can you do that? People aren't mingling together. They're told not to mingle with people from, their, from outside of their household. You know, point being number one, so you can't do that. You can't share the lamb with your neighbor because you, you're not supposed to be in contact with your neighbor. Another thing, to taking the food and giving it to other people, that would be classed in this situation as possibly spreading any uh, virus germs. So you can't, that's one thing you can't do. Another thing you can't do is you can't be with your family to celebrate the Passover, the feast uh, of the Passover. Like, let's say my dad can't come round. Um, to you know join in with the celebration of the Passover meal why because you know he's fearful for his own uh, health and he, you know he's taking the advice of the government I'm not a person who does that but obviously he's a lot older than me and he's scared generally that he's gonna catch something and he's going around with a mask and he's keeping his distance from us so how can we sit in the same room on the same sofa and eat a Passover meal less than a meter away from each other when all these rules are saying two meters so that's another thing I can't do I can't can't celebrate it with your family so how I received it from God is that the same like back in the day where uh, numbers 9 where they said about the blood of a dead man or someone's on a journey is not able to keep the first Passover I think the same thing or you can't keep you can't share with your neighbor the the Passover meal your family can't come round so this really has to be postponed and it's a good thing about God is that he's the living God he's the God of the living like Easter they won't cancel Easter because of it they should, really they should have done and then you know did the same thing but you know God is bigger than Rome and their fake Easter I'm not going to go into it but um, it's a load of rubbish Jesus wasn't crucified on Friday how can he be one and a half days dead when the scriptures quite a few scriptures say that like you'll be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights yet the morons that follow Easter seem to think he was crucified on Friday it's simply because they don't know the true feast of God the Passover like they think that he was crucified the day before the Sabbath day yeah, that's true okay but they're confused with the true pa the true Lord's Day actually Saturday so they think oh well you must have been crucified on Friday no the truth is he was crucified before Sabbath day well the Sabbath day that it's referring to is the first day of Passover so he was crucified on the preparation day um, before the first day of Passover the first and the seventh day of Passover are a holy day 
uh, a Sabbath as well, that no work should be done. Um, so when you look at it, Jesus was dead for three and a half days. So this year, funnily enough, exactly the Passover fell exactly how it would have done during the G Jesus' proper res uh, crucifixion resurrection, is that the preparation day was Wednesday. Jesus would have been crucified and killed just before Wednesday, 6 p.m. And he was dead for three and a half days, and he rose from the dead Sunday morning after three and a half days at 6 a.m. Sunday morning. So this year has been quite quite um, biblical or holy because the days have been exactly the same. But with this coronavirus, I believe in my heart that we should postpone it. In fact, I did. I have postponed it in, in my household that I haven't been eating unleavened bread. I thought if we can't celebrate the Passover because of uh, all the things that are going on, then surely I don't, I shouldn't keep the feast of unleavened bread because when he gives the orders in uh, Numbers nine, it said that you'd eat unleavened bread seven days. When you do, when the next month comes around, so really I'm looking towards May now, the Passover, the second Passover in May. I think it's May seventh it'll begin. So uh, just putting it out there that in my household it's been postponed because you cannot celebrate the Passover under these conditions um, and just like in Numbers 9 God's li the living God he says well you can do it the next month then so that's what I'm doing in my household and basically we I had a feeling that something was going to happen this year I, be I believed something was going to happen and on the Passover that was going to uh, postpone it I believe but from my point of view, I thought it would be a war outbreak. But um, that's before even this coronavirus was coming around. Um, that's why I made the, uh, the video actually about the second Passover. So that people understood. Because I had this fe feeling that something was going to go down. And the coronavirus is the thing that's gone down and made it impossible for us to celebrate the Passover of the Lord. So by God's own uh, judgment, um, the amendment is that you should keep it on the second Passover. So that's what I'm going to do, May full moon. Okay. And something else to think about uh, concerning the Passover being nullified is that if there was a temple and there was an altar at this time, then the Jews would want to come and bring, because you know they obviously didn't believe Jesus was a Messiah. They believe in the Old Covenant, which is the sacrifice of the blood of the Lamb on the Passover, uh, which Jesus was anyway. But um, they wouldn't be able to bring a lamb to the temple, to the altar, to be sacrificed on the Passover because of all this lockdown as well. They wouldn't be able to um, do that. So that's you know another example where the Passover wouldn't be able to be active. And also, if we think about all our brothers and sisters uh, out on, let's say, the NHS, they might be working. They might be away from work, away from home. Sorry, working uh, extra hours. The, the NHS, uh, any anybody else who might be involved in trying to contain the situation, now they're going to be away from home. They can't celebrate the Passover. And going back to numbers as well, if they're dealing with sick people and unfortunately dead people. And this also is the actual scripture saying that uh, you will not keep the Passover. So the people that are working in the healthcare industry, they won't be able to partake in the Passover even if they wanted to. So I'm Pastor Justin Roberts for a quick video here. Um, I hope you're all keeping safe and um, have a great weekend. And uh, God bless you all anyway.